Hi, thank you so much for your time. If you are here for how to use calculator in solving mathematics, then you are on the right platform. My name is Dallin Fee. Today we are using the scientific calculator to solve questions regarding differentiation. So to find dy dx, it is so easy to use calculator, especially to save you time in examination room. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you are already a subscriber, we say thank you. Now we are going to teach how to use a calculator to solve differentiation involving product rule. We will also look at how to differentiate using the calculator, solving questions about chain rule, and then we will also delve into the... Okay, so now we want to use the calculator to solve our first example. And so, obviously, if you look at this, this is about product rule. So, let's solve. Now, to do that, first, you must introduce the differential sign. And to do that, press shift. And then press the integral sign here. Now, we have it. So, let me explain this. What this box here means is that you have to enter the expression you want to differentiate. So in this case, we are going to enter this expression. Now for the y is equal to, we ignore that, and you only enter this expression. So I open my bracket because there's a bracket open here. So bracket opens. I now have x, so alpha x plus 2. Now you see that there's another bracket here. So I have to close the first bracket. Okay, so bracket is closed and we have a square so i need to square that the next thing there is another bracket here so let's bring that bracket and then we have x squared plus five so x alpha x squared and then plus five all right now don't forget to close that bracket so the bracket is closed now at the tail end at the right side you you saw that there was something huh so you can see that x is equal to box here. Now we are going to differentiate this at the value of x is equal to 1. If 1 is not working, then we we'll differentiate at x is equal to 0. Please notice that well. You either differentiate at x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 0. Now if you differentiate at x is equal to 1 in the question given, then to determine the actual answer, you are going to put the value that was placed here into each of the possible answers to determine which one will give you the same answer as the differentiated value. Okay, so now I want to differentiate the question at x is equal to 1. So in place of this box, I will put 1 there. Then you press is equal to. So what it means is that if you differentiate this at x is equal to 1, you will get 54. Now, in order for us not to forget, we are going to save this 54 to A. So to save this, simply press the shift, and then you press the store, and then you press the A. So you, we, are, we have saved the answer to A. Now, the next thing to do is that you only differentiate the question. The possible answers, you don't differentiate the possible answers to determine which one is correct simply type the question the way you see it on the calculator and then when you are done put x is equal to 1 and see if you will get the answer 54 all right so now let's determine which of the possible answers here is correct let's go for the first one so you enter the expression the way you see it so i have two bracket open then alpha x plus 2. Then you close the bracket. And the bracket opens. So let's open the bracket up. And we are having 2x squared. So alpha x and you square. And then minus 5x. So 5 alpha x. Then we have plus 2. Then you close the bracket. Now, let's always be sure that we have entered the right expression. So, if you are certain that you have entered the correct thing, the next thing to do, we are not going to differentiate, but you only press the solve button here. So, you press solve. 
And it is asking you, when you were differentiating, what value of x did you use? Remember that we use 1. So you are going to put, in place of the x, we are going to put 1 here. So you click on 1. And then you press is equal to. So now we are getting 6. Now you remember that the first one, we got an answer that was saved in A. Okay. So to know whether your answer is correct or not, all you have to do is that you are going to divide this answer you have gotten by the one you have saved in A. If you divide and you get 1, that means this is correct. If you divide and you don't get 1, that means this cannot be the correct answer. So let's divide this answer we have gotten by the one we saved in A. And you simply do that by pressing alpha and then you press A. And then you click the equal sign button. Obviously, this is not 1, which means this is not correct. So let's go for the second option and see. Now, you can enter this expression or simply go up and then edit what you have already um, keyed in. So let's see. This we have 2 brackets x plus 2 bracket close. Here too we have 2 bracket x plus 2 bracket close. That means this is correct. Then we have bracket 2x squared bracket 2x squared. Now we have minus 2x but this is 5. So it means we need to edit this one. So you click on this. You go back. Okay. And then you can edit your work. So let me erase it. And now I have minus 2x. So minus 2 alpha x. Then plus 5. So plus 5. Okay. Now you press the calc again. And the calculator is asking you what value was used to differentiate. Remember we use 1. So you press 1 here, you click the equal sign button, and we are actually getting um, 30. So let's divide this 30 by the answer we saved in A. If you get 1, that means B is correct. So you simply click divided by, and then alpha and A. Then you press is equal to. Once again, this is not 1, so it can be the correct answer. Let's now try the option C. So we can still go ahead and edit what we have put there before. Okay. So by going back, let's edit this. Now we have 5 here, 5 here. Now plus, plus here. This is minus 2x. But here is plus 2x. So let's erase the plus and put minus there. So, sorry. Let's erase the minus and then put plus there. So plus. Okay. Let's check if the rest are also correct. So 2x squared, 2x squared, okay. And then when we come here, we have two brackets, x plus 2. So the same thing that we have here. Once you are convinced that this is what the question has given, you simply press the calc button. It is asking what value of x was used. Remember, we use 1. So you press 1, and then you press is equal to. Now we are having 54. Once again, to be sure that this is the correct answer, Simply press divided by the answer you kept in A. So divided by, you press alpha, and then you press A. If you press is equal to, and you get 1, that means this is the correct answer. So we press the equal sign button, bam, and we have gotten 1. That means the correct answer for this expression. To find dy dx, the correct answer is option C, and we are done. Now, so the next question says, Find the derivative of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x all over x squared plus x. Now remember that we can easily use calculator in solving this. So which of these possible answers is correct? To do that, you first have to differentiate this. And we do so by pressing the shift and then you press the integral sign. Once again, we are going to differentiate this at the value of either x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 0. So now let's go and then key in this expression. This is a fraction. So you bring the fraction key and then you enter the expression as you see. So I have alpha x 
cube and then plus 3x squared so 3x squared and then plus 2x so 2 alpha x and then you move down x squared plus x so alpha x squared and then plus alpha x now once again be sure that you have entered the exact expression on the calculator once you are convinced your expression is correct move the cursor to the far right so that you put x is equal to one here so i put one here and then you press is equal to so it means when we differentiate this at the value of x is equal to one we are going to get one and this is so easy so the possible answers the correct answer is answer a and we are done with it now so we come to the next question if y is equal to 1 plus x over 1 minus x find dy dx and we should be able to solve this with a calculator so the first thing that we keep saying is that you have to differentiate this so you press shift and then you press the integral sign we are going to enter this expression in this column and this is a fraction so you bring the fraction key then we have 1 plus x so alpha x then you go down <coughs> we have 1 minus x so 1 minus alpha x then the next thing to do is that we want to differentiate this at the value of x is equal to 1 but if you look at this carefully if you put 1 here, 1 minus 1 will be 0. So if you differentiate with 1, it means your work will be undefined. So this time around, we are not going to use 1, but we want to use 0. So you can use 1, you can use 0, and it will give you a good answer. All right, so we want to use 0 here. So when we put 0 here, and then you press it's equal to. So it means when you differentiate this at the value of x is equal to 0, you are going to get 2. And as we did in the previous example, when you differentiate it, the answer you get, you need to save it. So to save that, you press shift, and then you press store, and then you press A. So we have saved this to A. Now, the next thing to do is that we are now going to enter these possible answers one by one onto the calculator. But for the possible answers, you don't differentiate you only write the expression the way you see it on the calculator and then you use the solve button to solve so when we put zero into this are we going to get two when we put zero into this are we going to get two so let's now start and find out which is the correct one now let's start with the first one so this is a fraction you click the fraction button and then you will have two up you move down, you open your bracket, you have 1 minus x, so alpha x, and then you square. So let's close the bracket, and then let's square. Now let's be sure that, so I want to move the cursor up, okay? So let's move the cursor up, good. Now that we are done, I want to be sure that I've entered the exact expression as I see in option E. Once you are convinced you've done the right thing, the next thing to do is simply you press the calc. Remember, the calculator is asking you what value was used to differentiate the question. Now, we didn't use 1, but we used 0 in differentiating. So, you click on 0, and then you press is equal to. Now, to be sure that your answer is correct, all you have to do is that divide this new answer you have gotten by the one you save in a when you divide and you get one that means your answer is correct so i want to click divided by now i'm going to divide by the answer i saved in a so you simply press alpha and then you press a then you hit the equal sign button if you click and you get one that means your answer is correct so once i'm getting one here it means the correct answer is option A. Now you can try the others. So let's try the others and see if we'll get one. 
So to try it, just enter this expression the way you say it. So I have to open my brackets, then I have minus 2 at the top. You move down and then you open your brackets 1 minus x. So alpha x, you close the brackets and then you square. Then you press the calc button. It is asking what value was used in differentiating. We use 0. So you press 0 and you press is equal to. Now this answer you have gotten, we want to divide this by the one we saved in A. If we get positive 1, that means this one is correct. So divided by the answer we saved in A. Are we going to get positive 1? No, we are now getting negative 1. So it means the correct answer is answer A. Thank you so much for this addition. And I want to appeal, if you haven't subscribed, please do. There are more exciting mathematical topics coming. We want to ensure that you go into mathematics exams and you pass. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.